Hey what's going on guys and welcome to the explanation video for a brand new series on my channel Pokemon Bloody Platinum Virus Lock That is virus as in a computer virus And not one you get in the body like you know HIV or something So I'm gonna go straight into the rules here This is a newish lock created by my friend Onesie Banesh The link to his channel and his explanation thingy will be in the description below Because I mean he made it I mean fair play There you go uh, so the first rule is all standard nuzlocke supply as you know as you do as you would expect it's a lock I mean come on the second rule is you cannot access the PC at any point because there's a mass computer virus on the loose and they're gonna kill your Pokemon just go if you put a Pokemon in there it's dead your Pikachu he's, he's dead he's in there he's dead I'm sorry and the same thing with items they're just they're dead too they're not living, but they're even more dead. So, yeah. There you go. Rule 3 is that no TMs can be used. But, because they're, you know, computer things, I think. They, I think they are. They're, they're, they're there. They're up there with computer disks. They have viruses. Uh, but you can use HMs because they kind of are necessary. Freaking stupid cut and rock smash. You know, the best moves. Best moves in game. You'll want to be using them anyway. So, I mean, there you go. Rule number four is that no electronic items can be used, like the EXP share or other things that involve electricity, I guess. I don't know. It's because they're infected with the virus and they will kill you. I might, I might skip the EXP one for grinding and stuff because that would just be painful. But look, I won't use it in video, okay? You won't know. I won't tell you, you won't know what could happen, who knows. Number 5 is that wild electric type Pokemon have a 50% chance of having this virus. And so I'm basically just going to get up a random number generator. And if they have the virus, unless you Oko it, you did so. You did, you, you infected your Pokemon's gown. Which is poop, really. That's not fun. But there you go, it happens. I'll do like the first 50% will be it's a okay. And the second 50% will be like, nah, son, you're dead. And, okay, that's that one. Uh, rule number six is once you have six Pokemon, you cannot catch a new Pokemon because you'll just be sent to the computer and it will be dead. So that's not good. So if you go into a new route, but you have all six Pokemon, you get into the grass, you can't catch that Pokemon because it'll just die anyway. I mean, there's no point. Why waste your Pokeballs? Why would you waste? Why would you do that? Why? You murderer. Number seven is any encounters when you have six Pokemon are lost. So if you go into a new route, even though you can't catch the Pokemon, if you go back to that new route after you lose a Pokemon, you can't catch one there if you've already encountered one. You could avoid the tall grass and they could come back and catch it if one of them dies. But mainly or not, you're not going to really be able to avoid the tall grass. So, I mean, that is unfortunate. And there you have it, that is all the rules to the virus lock. I hope you enjoyed this shortish video, I just wanted to tell you how it works. And actually in the comments could you tell me if you want the first episode to drop tonight as well, or do you want it to come tomorrow? And I'll assume if there's no comments that you want it tomorrow, okay? So, bye!